You want professional results cleaning up pet urine on your oriental rugs? No need to call the experts in. This video will show you how you can become your own spot cleaning expert. Stay tuned. Hey, we're back in our rug studio to give you a simple trick that you can use at home to clean pet stains from your oriental rugs. This Persian style hand knotted rug is completely clean. Let's say it's laying on the floor of your home and your favorite animal has a little deposit right here. Why take the whole rug to a shop and clean it if you can do it a good thorough job in your house? We're gonna show you some tricks you can use, thoroughly clean and sanitize that area with things and equipment and detergents you already have at home, most likely. Stay tuned, let's get at it. So what we have here is an example of a urine deposit on the rug we just looked at. It's outlined by that blue painter's tape and those three plastic chips. That's what we're going to assume there's a urine deposit from a pet, cat or a dog, even a child. And the simplicity is pretty easy to describe. Most of what you have is here, you have already at your home. This is a simple wet vac. They come in different sizes. It's wet and dry capable. You want to make sure you get one that says wet capable. Most people have them in their home, little shop vac. Um, plastic funnel. The wider the mouth, the better it is. This is about eight inches. We have an en enzyme detergent right here. If anybody wants, I can always put a link down below where you can get it. Just leave a comment that you would like that and I'll put one in. Um, we use this on wool rugs and synthetic rugs all the time. It works wonderful if you use it properly. Um, a simple measuring cup, pretty straightforward. Containers for both the detergent and the rinse, which is white vinegar, is the rinse, and some basic brushes. This is a soft horsehair brush that's used to agitate the detergents into the pile, and this is to reset the, the pile after it's been dampened out with the rinse agent. You'll see this here. This is a Abyssal pet stain eraser. It's relatively new to the market. It's um, Abyssal is selling this machine um, to clean up topically to clean up a urine deposit on rugs like this or, or synthetic wall-to-wall -wall type carpets. We've done a review, the link is below, um, of this thing, of this machine. Uh, for this purpose though, um, what we're going to do is much more thorough. It's more and a little bit more involved than using a machine like this, but it's much more thorough. This is just to take a little bit off the top. This machine like this, no way does it have the power to really go deep into this rug. But again, the review we, we wrote and did a video on is down below and um, an example of using this for urine on a rug like this is also below so when we come back we're going to show you how, you how you put all this together get it done where you don't have to clean the whole rug you can do it in your house just follow the directions so what we have here is basically i'm going to explain the process that we're going to use we've mixed in here this enzyme detergent according to directions we're going to apply it in this area. I'm going to remove the chips because we, we've already determined that that's where the contamination is. We put it down and we work it in. Now, it's a good idea to let the detergent sit on the area for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Work it deep into the pile, just like that. Okay? 10 to 15 minutes, the detergent won't be harmed by the tape being there. Although, if you know where it is, you don't have to use the tape. We're going to come back and show you what the next process is right after this scene. And um, again, dwell time 10 to 15 minutes. So, what we've done, we've added the detergent, the enzyme, to eat up the urine and the urine salts. So, now it's been sitting for 10 to 15 minutes, and we want to rinse all that through because if you just clean the top the backing of this rug might have urine create an odor in an unsanitary condition so now we have the white vinegar and water you're going to pour right through and you can see how it goes pulls right through the back what we have here is the wet vac right beside me pulling on the funnel the funnel is this big and you make sure you're pulling up through just like that you want to make sure you do a thorough rinse you can feel 
this how squeaky clean the wool will be when you put enough white vinegar through it. What you're looking at here is the rinse being poured, the white vinegar and water rinse being poured right through the rug into the back and the wet vac with the funnel attached is bringing all of it through, taking all of the residue, the urine and the enzyme detergent out. It's important to do a thorough rinse to get great results. Repeat if necessary. So what happened here was the wet vac, the shop vac, with the funnel created a suction under the rug on the back side. And we were able to pour detergents and rinse agents on the top, pulling it through, as you saw from the last clip. Now the rug itself right now is just barely damp. It's always a good idea to groom the rug out a little bit after you, after you clean it, even with your hand if you have to lay it flat, and then put some fans. If you have an oscillating fan, any kind of fan at all, blow across the top and the bottom to dry it as quickly as possible. If there's any residue from the detergent, you'll feel it'll be a little sticky. You have to make sure you do a thorough rinse. Now, normally, before you, I would suggest you spot clean a rug like this, I would suggest a 24-hour dye stability test, which I can put a link to how to do that down below. But the reason why we didn't do it here was because we already had urine on it, and we wanted to get at it quickly. There wasn't time to do a dye test. The urine would have ruined the dyes if that was going to happen anyways, more so than any detergents we use. Any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Please put them down below. There are links down below with more videos. And um, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and that little bell. You'll be notified next time we upload a, a new version. Thanks for watching. Also note that all chemicals and detergents used in this video are safe for you, your pets, and your family.